Welcome to Forza Motorsport 7 IndyCar Update, and as you can see, I have not fired up this game in quite a long time, so I've got a lot of cool cars waiting for me in the garage, but this video is specifically, of course, about the IndyCars, and as I reported a couple of days ago, uh, we have got a ton of IndyCar content. We've got the Ford Brawner Hawk from 1969, that is Mario Andretti's winner from uh, that Indy 500. We also have the Simon Pagino Dallara, the Joseph Newgarden Delara. We also actually did get the Chevrolet Corvette pace car for this year's Indianapolis 500. We also got uh, the Chip Ganassi racing car of Scott Dixon, the PNC Bank, as well as the Honda for Graham Rahal in the Total colors. So let's accept all of those and add them all to my garage. And I think my car collection is going to go way, way up. No, it didn't. Okay. That's awesome. Hurry, you can catch the special vendor. It's a great yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need the special vendor. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these cars because that's the important thing. Hey, look, a Penske AMC Javelin. So what we want to do is we're going to go to Chevrolet first and we're going to take a look at the Indy cars. So there we go. There's Joseph Newgarden's Hitachi sponsored Chevrolet. Uh, the tires don't look like they're the, uh, the best quality, but uh, it's nice to see that Forza has finally started printing the tire logos on the sides that was something that's been lacking forever in Forza and I know they've been doing it for quite a few months at this point but uh, it's nice to see nonetheless here is Simon Pagano's Menards sponsored Chevrolet uh, this is uh, one of my favorite liveries in IndyCar I don't think they quite captured the day glow uh, yellow it seems like they can capture every color but that one but it's uh, it's nice to see this car anyway and then we've got the pace car, uh, which is not the pace car for this year's Indy 500. This one has the wing on it. So, uh, as far as I'm aware, this particular model, this is the ZR1 from 2019. Uh, is this the pace car? Because I didn't think it. this year's pace car had a wing on it. See, I've got to think about that, because all the pictures I've seen, the car has not had a wing on it. The pace car in 2017 had a wing on it? But I don't believe this year's pace car did, so maybe there's a wing delete on there. Uh, we'll take a look at that car in just a second after we take a look at the Hondas. And here is Graham Rahal's number 15 Total car. Interesting that they went with the Total livery because, uh, as you can see on the side, United Rentals is usually the sponsor and I think will be the sponsor at the Indy 500. Um, even, I guess they want to go with more or sponsors that are more uh, likely for a world audience to understand or comprehend, and I guess that makes sense and is understandable. Then we'll go over here to Scott Dixon's PNC Bank number 9. Not as bright as it is in real life. I have to say, again, this is another car that looks a little bit more dull uh, than it appears in real life, but uh, I have to say it looks like they got the car model pretty much perfect on this car. Oh, and just a quick insert here, I forgot to talk about the Brawner Hawk. So here it is, Mario Andretti's 1969 winner. It doesn't have the proper race livery, but that's probably not going to be a problem. I'm sure the painters are already on that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think this car has already been in a Forza title, so it's not necessarily new, but it's, uh, it's nice to have back, I suppose. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get in Scotty D's PNC car because I kind of like that car and we need to take a look at this because I heard a uh, little birdie told me that we actually uh, have uh, some options that a lot of people have wanted for a very long time in Forza we're gonna go to the front wing and uh, even though they call it a stock bumper boom baby oval wings and they are adjustable and they also make a little bit of difference in terms of the uh, the acceleration and handling. Oops. Well, that's an interesting glitch. Uh, I was trying to look at the. Uh, let's try that again. So the the underfloor of the car is underfloor. The floor of the car also changes when you add the oval wing. They add this little hole. If you look right there underneath the side pod, that little cutout is to reduce downforce to kind of keep the speeds in check. Uh, on the ovals and that is a great detail. I'm really happy that they included that. So let's buy the oval wings real quick uh, just to have them so we can also take a look at the full oval arrow kit. Now what I want to see here is 
not only the rear wing, but do the side pods change? Because the side pods are actually different uh, on the oval kit as well. So, to the rear wing, and we'll take a look at the oval rear wing. So, no, the side pods don't change, and that's one disappointing thing. They did change the floor of the car, though. That's kind of the important bit. But there you go. There's the rear wing. Little tiny thing for the, uh, for the ovals since they went to this new bodywork. But it's definitely neat to see. So we'll uh, we'll buy that for 2,000 credits. I can I can spare that 2,000 credits. And now we can take a look at the full car in oval trim. And I have to say it looks pretty much perfect. And you know what? The side pods are actually already in oval configuration. So the side pods are actually wrong for the road course kit. They're correct for the oval kit. So what we're gonna do is now now that we've seen the oval wings. I'm going to put the road course wings back on and we're going to test drive this car. And the reason for that is we're actually going to do a race later on an oval. There's actually another part. If you look right in the middle of the side pod there, where that little cutout is, there's another piece. What is that piece that's coming? Oops. Oops, I did it again. Look at this piece that com comes away from the car. I'm not sure even what that is. See if we can see it. Oh, it's the uh, brake ducts. Wow. Neato mosquito. So the front wing adds the brake ducts. Let's take a look on the front uh, of the car. Yeah, if you look on the front wheels, you can see the brake ducts come in and come out. And they also are uh, on, the, uh, on the rear wheels as well. Good job, Forza. Good job, Forza. I like that. Very good. So we're going to go to the test drive uh, option here, and we're going to go to, uh, what do you think for a road course? Probably not Prague, and we probably don't want to do an experimental uh, drag setup. So we're going to go over here uh, to the track. Where's the track? Where's the track? Where's the track? Oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. Okay, we could do Road America, Road Atlanta, Sebring. I guess it would make sense to do Sebring because that's a test track, isn't it, for IndyCar? But I kind of feel like since the next race for IndyCar that's coming up is the IndyCar Grand Prix at Indianapolis, not on the Oval, uh, we're going to do this. We're going to go and drive around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course. So here we are at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Grand Prix circuit for the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. And pretty much why we're here, why we're test driving it, is to A, see how this car handles, and B, uh, see what this car is going to be like, or what it's going to sound like. That's kind of the, the, the key, isn't it? So let's... Well, I guess we're in a race, aren't we? This is supposed to be a test drive, isn't it? Oh, well, I guess we're going to race. Uh, don't know how long this is going to take, but here we go. Test driving at... Okay, that's a fascinating. That's a fascinating camera angle. So we've got lots of cars in the old configuration. Oh, so in test drive mode, they just send a bunch of AI cars out there to give you something to pass. That's kind of interesting. I don't even remember that being a, a feature. So I have to say, I'm being a filthy casual right now. I'm playing it with a controller. An Xbox gamepad, I guess you could say. The interior's pretty good on the car, have to say. Looks looks proper, the wheel looks proper, even though I just got, whoops, okay, well I got run into and then I locked the brakes up. I don't see any other uh, modern aero kits, which is kind of fascinating, as we get uh, sideswiped by Connor Daly there. Oh, there's another one. Hang on, we're gonna let Connor Daly go by. See, there we go. There's all the modern cars. So the sounds aren't bad. They're not good either, though. I think Project Cars 2, iRacing, they have... Uh, I think they have the sounds covered a little bit better than, than Forza does. And we've got, like, the fog of war through Turn 3. I don't know why we're running it, like... 9 o'clock at night. A little bit of uh, counter-steering there. Coming onto the main straightaway. 
You see the suspension working, that's pretty cool. Not sure the uh, suspension moves around quite that much on the Indy cars, <laughs> but uh, it looks good. Now I'm starting to come back to grips with the Forza controls. A little bit wide through that corner. It's funny, that corner I've actually raced a competitive go-karts on, which is kind of funny to think about. I've raced on a track in a video game, guys! And here we go down to the, uh, ooh, that's a big, well, that was a big send. Well, I guess people are going to want me to smash this car up, aren't they? Let's see what we can do. We're not probably going to be able to knock wings off, but we're going to uh, crash into Simon Pagino. Crash into the wall. Not a ton of damage, <laughs> it has to be said. Let's just sit here and uh, rev up the car just a little bit. Yeah, definitely doesn't sound that great outside. All right, let's do some oval track racing because I'm really kind of interested to see how that all uh, works out. All right, we are going to race at a track that used to host Indy cars, doesn't anymore, but will be a great experimentation project to see how these cars race on the oval tracks. Now I have installed the oval wings and it looks like the AI cars have not. So how will they perform? Am I absolutely going to stomp on them? I've put them on unbeatable and I know that may be a mistake, but I kind of want to see how it's going to turn out. We got a 25 lap race. That's not going to be very long with 230 mile an hour Indy cars on a one and a half mile oval. but. Let's see how this turns out. I have no idea how it's going to go. All right, rolling start here. PNC Bank Honda, we've got a guy in a motocross helmet uh, behind, or alongside us in a Joseph Newgarden car. That's very strange. All right, we're underway here at Homestead Miami Speedway into turn one. Big old pack of cars, they are using uh, a lot of different lines, a lot of different grooves. This is how I would expect it to go on the start. And here we go down the back straightaway. The cars with the road course wings seem to have a little more straight line speed, which is kind of fascinating. As we send it off into turns three and four here underneath the Simon Pagano car, a little bit of apron there, which I don't really want to be dealing with. Whoop, side, side by side. It'd be nice to have a spotter. That's something, again, Project Cars 2, iRacing, they have. This doesn't. Maybe in Force 8 guys, maybe in fours to eight. As we move down the back stretch, I'll try to get uh, you some different views. That's not a great view. Oh boy. I ran into a ditzy donkey there in the oval track winged PNC Honda. Whoa, too much. Whoa, there you go. There's the, uh, there is the friggin' up. Oh, we lost our rear wing. So there's the damage. There is the damage. So is the car screwed or did I turn that off? We're gonna find out. <laughs> so you can knock the wings off. You might be pleased to see that. Oh wow, that is a really weird third person view. God, I haven't played this in forever. Again, I used to be a really big Forza guy around Forza 4. Kinda fell out of love with it. There's my skid marks from just the lap prior. Yeah, I think I have the damage on visual only, which is probably good for this, for the purposes of this video. That's for sure. We're only on lap four, so I think we may be able to tear through the field here if I really get on it. The field is a bit spread out at the moment. I'll tell you, this would probably be pretty fun online. So we send it up the inside of several cars there. Then again, wouldn't the guys at the back be kind of slow anyway? As we roll around three and four. Got a lot of grip though, a lot of grip. Doesn't feel like anywhere I move this car on the track, unless I, of course, high sighted on the apron, it's going to spin. To get in behind laggy sprinter here. Let's try to the outside lane. Looks like that's where all the cars want to run. We almost pushed up into Graham Ray Hall there. Don't want to do that. I wish uh, I wish the Drivatars used um, 
some of the paint schemes that are uh, available online. I guess I could understand why they don't, because you don't want people with um, phallic symbols all over their cars uh, just showing up in 10-year-olds' lobbies. I, I understand. I understand probably why they don't do that, but it would be kind of fun if you could choose the liveries that the cars raced with so you could get a full field. So we go underneath one of those Scott Dixon cars, really tearing through the field. I did have these on unbeatable, right? I'm pretty sure I did. If I, oops, as I kind of shoved Simon Pagano into the wall there. I may have turned them on. No, I put them on unbeatable. I'm sure of it. I thought I put them on pro, maybe, but I think they're on unbeatable. Where's my wing? I think my wing has been lost to the uh, sands of time. I was wondering if the, the debris would stick around. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> the wing is just sitting on the back stretch. Fascinating. Well, now as we start to get closer to the front of the field, now we're starting to kind of. It's starting to be less easy to pass some of these guys. I mean, we're obviously running much faster than they are. But that again may come down to the fact that I'm using the proper wings for this racetrack. And they are not. Getting a big run on New Garden here. Going to pull out down the inside. It'll be interesting to see how these cars race when everybody's together. Because or when everybody races them online, because right now I'm absolutely flat out all the way around the track. And that has me thinking that uh, these cars are going to pack race, unless you, there's a lot of performance you can uh, extract from getting a good setup on these cars. Ooh, big push. Big push. And it looks like the field is kind of coming together a little bit as Joseph Newgarden looks to the inside. Is that the motocross helmet, Joseph Newgarden, that I was alongside at the start of the race? I don't know. Here we go down to the inside of Ray Hall. He kind of got held up there, making a little bit of contact with me down the back stretch. Yeah, the AI are, are kind of weird in Forza. They don't really respect you very much. <laughs> it's almost like they don't think you're there. They drive down the inside of New Garden. Again, I'm just I've just got the throttle pinned right now, and whoa, there's a guy making a move. See, if the, if the drive tars would just run the low line, they'd make up so much time. They'd be way faster. But they're not doing it. There you go. It almost feels like there's maybe a little bit of rubber banding going on. Because I got right up to the front of the pack, and now suddenly all these guys are champion race car drivers, or at least running a little bit faster. We go down to the inside. Oh, a little bit of contact there with Scott Dixon. The wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact does not matter at all. And here comes that new garden car that has figured out that running the bottom is faster. But he pushed up big time because I think I kind of Pruitt faded him. Down the back straightaway. Going to send it off into the corner. A little bit of arrow push there. Maybe tire wear. I don't think the tire wear is on, though. I decided not to go. I decided to forego the quick stops for now. Because I don't think it's going to add a whole lot. It's not like there's a pit crew animation or anything to take a look at. And now we're getting to the front of the field. Big run on Graham Rahal here. Going to send it up the inside. And pretty easily make the pass on him. Just kind of do that little slide job thing that the stock car guys do here. Just to kind of prevent his momentum from really working on the top side. And now behind Pagano, going to try to get to the inside of him. Which I'll be able to do fairly easily and go into the lead here with just a few laps to go. And I'm looking for all the, I'm thinking all these cockpit adjustments that I get to do in all these other open wheel games and I'm not able to do any of them. Like, oh, let's turn the fuel mix up. Oh, no, I can't do that. Let's mess with the weight jacker. Oh, no, I can't do that. Oops. Let's run into Simon Pagano. I can do that. And it's also interesting that it seems like the driver names are omitted. I don't remember if it's that way for the NASCAR cars as well. But I'm pretty sure they describe the cars as Chase Elliott 24 and Kyle Busch 18. Could be wrong, but it's weird that the drivers didn't have their names licensed in this as well. 
Field is staying together all right. It's not like I'm lapping cars. But again, I'm running on a default setup. So I'm sure there's performance to be extracted from this car. Suspension really working quite a bit. <laughs> really quite a bit. You don't see it quite work that much, I think, on those visor cams that they run. Then again, Homestead could be a super bumpy track. Let's not be too cynical, David. As we're coming up here to lap 21, four laps to go. My split time was just off just a little bit there. Yeah, I probably entered the corner a little too low there. Let's try to enter higher this time, turn in later. Try to get a really smooth, fast lap going here. Off the corner, crossing the line, slower. Slower in three and four, interesting. Unwind the wheel. Am I faster in the split? No, I'm not, I'm slower. So running higher is absolutely slower than just keeping the throttle pinned and driving around the bottom of the track, it seems like. Yep. All right, let's just run an experimental lap right around the white line whole way around the track. We're going to be right on the white line. This is how the IRL cars used to race, and look, it's faster. Oops, I couldn't quite keep it on the white line that time. Definitely lost some RPMs. That's going to slow me down. Yep. Alright, on the white line. As much around the track as I can go. On the white line. Shorter distance. It was faster on that lap. Fastest split. And right on the white line. As we cross the line. Oh, no, nope, slower. So three and four, I, fa I found some time in one lap in three and four that I have not been able to find since then. Fascinating. And into turn three, arc it in big time there. Let the car kind of walk up the track. Maybe we're going to go a little bit faster this time, but it doesn't matter. We win the race with or without a rear wing. So there you go. That's the IndyCar update in Forza Motorsport 7. What do you think of it? Let me know down in the comments section below. I think I will have another video on this before the end of Indy 500 month. But uh, until then... Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more IndyCar and motorsport content.